Hey, what's good with y'all, man? We're going to jump straight into it. James Harden is looking like the biggest fraud in NBA history, man. Uh, and, I, and I'm not using that lightly either, man. He's just not looking good at all. You can blame it on the possible hamstring injury from last season coming into this year. But I'm not going to give it all. I'm not giving it all that. I think a lot of that, maybe you could say maybe 10%. I'm saying at least 90% of his game being uh uh being so different this year. The huge drop off, the big dip in points, all that is mainly due to all that ref baiting stuff going out the window, man. The NBA has in a way adopted the new FIBA, well, I'm not going to say the new FIBA rules, but they have adopted the FIBA rules in a way. And if you look, if you guys watch the Olympics, right, you just watched the Olympics that just recently passed this summer, um, you guys saw that M some of these NBA players were having a hard time adjusting, having a hard time adjusting. That's why they was losing a few of those, uh, I guess you could say, um, just exhibition, uh, exhibition games before they got into the to the real thing, right? They were struggling a little bit, right? And that's mainly due to they just so privileged to getting fouls called, the ticky tack calls, and the NBA. They just said, you know what? We're gonna wash our hands. We don't. We tired of the fans complaining. We don't want that. We don't want that stuff in that game anymore. And they just basically eliminated it. And James Harden, Steve Nash, all these guys are, you know, kind of uh feeling like they're being unfairly targeted and this and James Harden is being the face of his rule change and everything like that. And rightfully so he should be the face of it because a lot of he he caught I'm not gonna lie. I think James Harden kinda made people change their game. Like people were criticizing Trey Young for for ref baiting. Uh guys like Chris Paul's ref baited. Uh they say Steph Curry but I didn't feel like Steph Curry really ref baited. I feel like he he tried it that one time in the preseason just to see what would happen, and everybody jumped on it, right? Uh, and from there, but um, honestly, I think this is mainly just a James Harden thing, right? We did have guys in the past like KD. Uh, he brought the rap. He brought the uh, the rap through on the on the jab step. He'll jab step you a few times, and you stick your arm out. He will swing through. And uh, that they switched that they switched that out for after about a year where you wasn't where you excuse me I I gotta slow down man where you wasn't getting like free throws on those anymore like they 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 were still fouls but you weren't getting free throws on that and KD he kind of eliminated that out of his game right he don't I don't even see him do it at, at all anymore so um he's adapted to it and now we're seeing uh James Harden having a hard time adapting to these new to these new uh to these new rules right and i got some clips that i'm gonna show you guys too but uh let's talk about the stats real quick right james harden went from let's see let's see last season i'm gonna bring it up actually i'm gonna bring it up let's show it we're gonna go to the stats from last season before i show you the game log so last season he averaged 25 a game um he came in a little bit out of shape last year too so it was it was a it was a huge drop from a uh, 2019 season to the 2020 season, right? But he definitely came in overweight. You know, COVID. I, I give him a little bit of pass there, right? But uh, he went from 24.6 points a game on the Nets, 24.8. I know it's only a five game sample size. I know. But I think it's better, right? So, uh on the game log, sixty nine points in the mat in five games that equals out you gotta see the thumbnail. It's averaging about sixteen points a game. Uh the field goal percentage has dropped down to thirty six percent. He's shooting 33, 32, 33% from the three-point line. Everything is just downhill from him. Uh, and it's just like he's having a hard time adjusting, right? You guys, you can even look. His field goal attempts went down. He played 36 minutes, the second most minutes of the uh, season. He only took 12 field goal attempts. He had three free throws. And honestly, the the shot that he got the three free throws on, it shouldn't have been, it shouldn't have been a foul, but... It, it it was it was a close play, but it wasn't a foul. 
And we're going to get into some of the clips um, right now. Honestly, I just wanted to show you guys, like, look at the difference. And this is why he's proven to be a, a, a fraud right now, man. And I'm not going to say he's not talented. I'm not going to say he's not talented at all. But, man, like, the, the days of seeing him just stop, drop 35, 40, like, like it was nothing, those are probably gone. And uh, let's take a look at a few plays, right? So this is the first play. And I'm actually doing this video, but this is my second time, man. I did a video already for this, and I, I showed some copyright. And I, I, I'm not going to lie, I didn't want that copyright in my video. So uh, apparently these these uh, these clips I'm about to show right now didn't get hit with the copyright. So uh, let's take a look, though. First play. Kyle Lowry holds his ground. James Harden tries to throw, like, a little shoulder in there and get a little cheap ticky-tack shot off. Uh... Try to get the foul call, get the N1, but it wasn't called. Look, see, he just threw that up right there. I think he was going to get a foul on that weak-ass uh, weak shit, man. We're not calling that, bro. You know, let's take a look at this real quick. I'm going I'm to put the... Uh, I'm going to drag this, right, so we don't got to see it in full play. He comes down. Kyle Lowry ha has... He beats him to the spot, basically. So, at the very least, this is a no call, right? James Harden sticks his arm out. You guys can see he sticks his right arm out. Throws his shoulder into it. Tries to over over exaggerate the contact. Look how uh, look how high his freaking elbow went. Is at Kyle Lowry's head right now, trying to get the foul called. Then he throws up some nonsense, thinking he's about to get some free throws. But you see, the NBA efficient has gotten a lot stricter, and that kind of makes me feel like the NBA told the like the like behind the scenes they were telling the refs like yo we want you guys to call these fouls cuz we want scoring we want scoring to go up right like people have been complaining about Jeff uh, I about to say Jeff Harden James Harden ref baiting for like the last 4 5 6 years or whatever you want to call it, since he's been on the Rockets for the most part right and they've done nothing about it but all of a sudden they do it this year so um but man, a lot of these guys are so skilled. Like James Harden, even without the even without the ref betting, he's still a, he's still a, a a skilled player. But boy, like just look at the huge drop off, man. Like god damn, bro. God damn, like he's still. That's why I said I'll still give him like maybe ten percent of uh, you know, the hamstring because he has looked le less explosive this year. But that could also just meet. Maybe I'm just bugging. Maybe he looked more explosive because. Guys were playing so soft. They didn't want to get too physical with him. So uh, he take he he bursts to the paint, and these guys are just like. Damn, bro, my man is really a magician when it comes to doing fouls, right? Now we go to the third play. Okay, go to one. Let's show it full speed. All right. Look at this. Yo, nah, this guy. He's a, he's a comedian, bro. He's right. Get the ball. Look what he does, right? He has a step. This is what I'm understanding. First of all, he has a power. He does. Look at his. Gets 
what I can show you, but I, I don't want to have to go through the whole copyright situation, man. Um, now let's. This is the last play. This is the last play for James Harden. Fourth play. This one is crazy, cause look, he catch. He catch. Oh my God! Look, this is. That's what I'm telling you. There's some skill, right? He still has some skill. He was able to get Bam out of skill to com. He didn't fully com. He on him, right? You have a step on him. Look, look, look at his left arm. Why is he doing that? He grabs Bam out of Bayo's arm, tries to sell the foul. They're not calling that this year because we all know James Harden was masterful at um. You you put your arm even anywhere close to him, he rips through under that, locks your arm, and then fakes a shooting motion and gets free throws off it. And no longer is that being called. Let's take a look again. Slow motion. You got him to semi commit. Games of the season. Let's go look at last season. How many free throws attempts did he have in the first five games of last season? You're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom, right? All right. So game one of last season, it was it was an OT game. Sixteen, then nine the next game, then eleven the next game, then ten the next game, then five the next game. I mean four the next game. Excuse me. So let's. That's damn near. Let's see. Twenty six, thirty, thirty nine. 40, 48. You got basically 48 through the first five, right? And it's just a huge drop off from there. Honestly, it's just it's just kind of crazy to see. And uh, I really would love to get your, you guys' thoughts on this. Do you think James Harden has been a fraud this whole time? Has his game been predicated on just ref baiting? Like, because you guys see, we seen Ricky Rubio that in a playoff game. He literally was playing James Harden from behind him. He, that's how badly we've seen guys literally put their arms behind their back just so they don't get a foul calls against them. Um, and honestly, I, I'm not, I'm, I don't really care for, uh, for James Harden if he cries, man. He is, is deservingly so. He's not getting these calls, man. And he's really, he's really put a lot of people in foul trouble. Made defensive not have any physical, uh, any aggression towards him on, on defense. So. And basketball, yeah, it's not it's not a football, but bro, you, it's still it's still some physicality that should be allowed there. And he just pretty much eliminated it, eliminated it from all defenders. And um, like I said, I don't feel bad, man. I would love to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, man. I appreciate it. Try and get this channel go up. I'm trying to get to around 2k. I really want I want to get to 2k uh subscribers, man. Hopefully you guys can help me get there. Um, like I said, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'm out. Peace.